the Empress Palace National Yearling Sale took place from the 24th to the 26th of April at the Thoroughbred Breeders Sales Complex at Gosforth Park. This sale has become known as an outstanding one, offering outstanding yearlings, and 2019 wasn't any different. Amid economic and political pressures, the sales started tentatively, but by the end of day one, 17 million rand yearlings had gone through the ring. Steve, lovely to talk to you. You bring a wonderful sense of humor and lightness to the serious business of auctioning horses. You seem to have a wonderful time up there on the rostrum. Yeah, well, I suppose, look, over the years, uh, I've always maintained if you're going to spend, uh, you know, whatever money you're spending, you want to enjoy it. And it is pressure. I mean, it's pressure for the vendors, it's pressure for the buyers, it's pressure for us as auctioneers. And I suppose if you get people to relax, you may get them to bid again, is where I come from. And so, yeah. And also, you want to keep people in the auditorium. I mean, there's nothing worse than if everybody's either fallen asleep uh, or left. Uh, and so it's all about creating atmosphere and keeping people engaged. Yeah. Well, people certainly appreciate it and they respond to you. What was it like on the rostrum? Yeah, look, it was tough uh, early on in particular. Um, look, I knew, having looked at my horse, and there was a lovely line of horses here, and I'm mindful of the, the economy and everything here in South Africa. Um, I was probably a little disappointed initially uh, yeah. and, and quite stressed about it. That there's some really nice horses not making a lot of money in my first run. Thankfully, as we worked through the day, it did seem to settle down and pick up a bit. The middle market seemed to, to I suppose, strengthen to some extent. Yes. What was significant, and in a moment that will go down in the history books of South African thoroughbred auctions, was the sale of a yearling for an all-time high of 9 million rand. The colt was the penultimate lot on day one. The smashing-looking full brother to grade one winning Nightingale, he surpassed the previous sales high of 5.2 million set in 2018. Consigned by Vilkobos Drift, the son of Silvano, out of the four-time winning mare Quickwood, the colt was knocked down to Mike de Kock on behalf of Shadwell, South Africa. At nine million rand, far and away a new South African record, whichever way you look at it, Mike de Kock, nine million. In your wildest dreams, you're sort of thinking, OK, four to five million, I'm sure that's where, that's where it'll go. And of course, when the bidding started slowly as usual, as per the South African style, then it accelerated into a duel firstly between uh, uh, Michael de Kock and John Freeman with Tony Miller chiming in between. Uh, but uh, at five and a half million, which was John Freeman's last bid, Mike de Kock came back at six. I was actually about ready to hit that uh, hammer down because you're certainly not expecting a party <laughs> who hasn't shown their hand at all to come into the fray. Yeah. And it was at 6.5 million that Mark Richards for the Hong Kong Jockey Club made his first bid at six and a half million and at that point uh, I was on a high I mean it was just unbelievable um, the, the auditorium went I silent much, uh, I recovered it fortunately from my shock reasonably quickly and then of course it became a straight duel between the two I was hoping at that point can you believe it you're never satisfied I was hoping to hit the 10 million uh, because that suddenly became a possibility um, but 9 million is far and away a South African record and I was just lucky to be in the right place at the right time is it a moment that's going to stay with you for a long time? Absolutely. You know, I've been on the rostrum for a very, very long time. We've had our highs and our lows, but being part of South African history is, is extra special. Yeah. Uh, and I had a chat with Mark Richards yesterday, you know, and I said, well, thanks for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like coming second in any auction. And to be fair, when the Hong Kong Jockey Club said their sights on a horse, they generally don't come second. And particularly in a South African market, you would expect them to get what they want. Uh, but Jake Hamdan obviously was prepared to go as far as was necessary.
And not surprisingly, news of the record went viral. Session one ended halfway through day two with the fall of the hammer on lot 240 and another eight million rand yearlings sold. Gary, how did session one hold up? Session one held up well. Uh, if you looked at the aggregate, we were marginally down, probably three and a half million, uh, still turning over 95 million. Um, average was down about 9%. I think the, the real statistic uh, out of session one was the decline in the median. And I think that just epitomizes what we saw in terms of it being a patchy sale. Um, obviously those big prices, you know, boost the aggregate, um, but, but we are seeing a, a, a patchy market. All of Drockenstein, Claverflay, Avontur, Main Chance, Cheverly, Rathmore, Millstream, Borland and Vilkobos Drift recorded two or more million rand yearlings sold. Top sires Captain L, Silvano and Dynasty accounted for over half of the million rand yearlings sold, with Crerari claiming another three. The transition into session two seemed quite seamless. Yeah, I think it was a seamless transition between session one and session two, and I think we saw solid trade throughout the day. Uh, you know, there were, there were some concerns that the sale may, may fall off a bit, but um, it held up exceptionally well. As in 2018, the sale enjoyed significant international interest. This market is significantly held up by international money, and if that isn't a message to our government, then nothing is. Because if we lose that, on their do doorstep will be 10, 15,000 unemployed, and they better remember that. Uh, so therefore, we need, we've got to make this work, we've got to trade, and we've got to keep this game alive. Because we are an employer, big employer, we are. and we have the ability to add jobs if we get our export right. Where banks, mines, retail are shedding jobs, we can add a few thousand, no doubt. Um, but um, we need to support the yeah. government. Gary, we've come to the end of the sale. What's your overall assessment? I would say it's a, a satisfied result. I'm, I'm sure people would have liked it a little bit higher and, and, and hoped for a bit more money. Although the sale was, was weak at times, when there was a nice horse that came into yeah. the ring, you found that there were quite a few people on it. So, you know, there were people that weren't able to fill their budgets because they were chasing the same horses. So, again, the top end of the market was really strong and it was difficult to buy. It's been tough, the middle market especially. Um, you know, that there's no doubt that, uh, that uh, there's a gap in the middle market. And I think there were opportunities here with nice horses being sold for small money or not being sold at all uh, that, uh, that some of the trainers and owners might have missed out on. Particularly in those first few, few hours of the sale, I, I think there must be many buyers ruining the fact that they, you know, that yeah. they hadn't bought in those, in those two yeah. hours. But that, you know, that sells. Overall, given the economy, given the challenges that we all face in this country right now, coming a month before the general elections, you know, the mood is, 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 is tentative, I suppose. I suppose we're all sitting on the edge of our seats, but business has to go on as usual. Yeah. And uh, I think in light of that, uh, some breeders have had fantastic sales, some have had disappointing sales. It's the same old story that we leave this, this complex uh, with, uh, you know, after every national yearling sales. But there have been some big numbers. Uh, the top end of the market is very strong. Yeah. Uh, but middle down is, 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 is where, the, where it's lacking a little. And the median price will expose that. Yes, when, you, when, when the dust has settled uh, on the sale, I think you're going to see the median price has tumbled quite dramatically from last year. But there's a correction in the market. We move on. So there's, I think there's still a lot of positives. The clearance rate was good. If you could summarize the sale in a few words, what would it be? I'd say it was a solid sale in trying circumstances. Cheers. Cheers.